When we left off, we were on the road through Canyon del Pato, and after a refreshing dunk in a waterfall that seemingly came from nowhere, we continued on, honking our way around every blind corner as we went. We were aiming for Laguna Peron. Over the next few days, we made our way up and down, up and then back down again. The river is angry after last night's rain and it is so muddy and like powerful. It's crazy, look at this. on this road. We go up and then we go down and then we go up and then we go down. A lot of, a lot of wind right here and this is a very curvy road. It's crazy. Eventually, we were reminded of what a small world it is when we got a message saying, you just passed us. We had literally just passed a taxi, which apparently had our buddies, Jake and Jordan in it. Remember them? We shared a container. They were having some mechanical issues with their van and had decided to continue exploring while they awaited a part. So they had hopped in a colectivo and were headed for Laguna 69 when we happened to pass them. And that is where this story begins. The last time we talked earlier today, it was just us. Now, what the some gringos. Those Just a wee party back in. <laughs> Those people showed up again. Yeah, oh, it's like a bad penny. <laughs> they are sticking around. <laughs> Can't, Can't get rid of them. <laughs> now we're heading up, what is the lake called? A, 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 a Peron. A Peron. And we're going to camp there and hopefully hike and see some oh, glaciers. Mosquito. Die mosquito. I'll try not to kill us while it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe stick to the driver. Yeah. Like, Whoa! <laughs> So with Jake and Jordan crammed in the back, we headed up to check out Laguna Peron. We made it to the lake. Look at that. The color is just crazy. And it's cold. <laughs> Very cold. Beautiful. There's a glacier out there too. So neat. After taking a look at the lake, we decided to retreat a few kilometers back down the mountain to camp in hopes it would be a little bit warmer. We set up for the night and had a blast catching up with part of our traveling family. I woke up earlier than everybody else and it's so pretty. I thought I'd get some some pictures. I didn't sleep very good last night. I discovered last night that I think the GoPro had not been recording anything. It shows that it's recording, it says it's saving, but then when you look at the the camera there's nothing on it. So all of that cool stuff that we did over the last couple days. I don't know if I got it. There's still some hope once I put the 
card into the computer and see if there is anything on it, but that's crushing <laughs> so much cool stuff that I wish that I wish that we got that we could share with you guys. Driving through little villages on like Sunday when everyone was so excited and waving and uh, the the crazy roads that will they're just epic and they probably won't ever be there again. So what a bummer. And that was just like on my mind last night, hard to let go of how frustrating that was. But uh, hopefully there's enough to show you a little bit. But it's a beautiful morning. Take a look at this view behind me. That? You've never had to worry about it. Nah. And then there's a uh, there's a system wired in that will uh, disconnect the starting battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like never uses that. just so use it until you. Leaves. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Coca. Co like Coca Cola. Actually, yeah, yeah. Like the original Coca Cola had uh, a little bit of cocaine brewed into it. Mm. But this is just the leaf uh, leaf water. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> no, it just tastes like leaves and water. It's but like alfalfa. Yeah. Delicious leaves and water. I feel like I had uh, three or four cups of coffee, which I have every morning. So. <laughs> After a nice refreshing cup of coca tea, we were off to explore the Laguna. We got lucky with some beautiful weather, and once we made it to the other side of the lake, Jordan and I decided to enjoy the sun and some snacks. So while the boys continued on, we just hung out with the cows. We well, might also go to a cliff. I was kind of thinking though, if we cross, then we get to go back on the bar side. I saw a couple spots that look crossable. Yeah. It's working hard. Did you hear us up there? Yeah, but I couldn't see you. I was doing this. I was thinking the only chance for you to see us is swinging this round. <laughs> 
After a nice little break, we said goodbye to the cows and headed back towards Goose. Once we got back, we made some lunch, and Jacob <laughs> decided to go for a refreshing little dip in the frigid lake. That guy that does that thing, he's like, he doesn't feel pain. Yes. And he like gets in cold water, and he's just like, this is great. Totally chill. <laughs> I feel nothing. All right. Yeah, ready? Yeah, it's all, it's all fun and games until the balls hit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you get the shot? You got, yep. two, you got two bones? Come on, run. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel nothing. <laughs> I feel nothing. It's just not sound good at all I was actually right surprised now. it wasn't actually as coming into the picture. Yeah, yeah. This place was epic, pictures don't do it justice, and it was all made even better by the company of friends. This one goes down in the books as a good day. Act natural, Act natural buddy. Nothing's going on. Mm -hmm.